Welcome back guys. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're gonna be going for a test drive in a 1965 Nova. This has got a 1968 model 327 under the hood. Looks like it doesn't have power steering or power brakes. Pretty clean engine bay though. I like to take them down the road, point out the flaws so you don't have to. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. I'll try not to miss anything. We try to be an honest uh, dealer representing our cars the way they actually are. Look at the financing that we have at maplemotors.com. Along with about 100 detailed pictures, uh, shipping information, all of our inventory that's constantly updated every week. There's about 10 cars a week. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and shut this hood down. By the end of the video, I'll do a picking out the flaw segment. Right there at the end, it'll probably be 10, 15 minutes. I'll be just walking around looking for chip scratches and rust. But right now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior on this car, kind of check everything out. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? It's a game we like to play on the channel. Coming across the dash. Pretty good shape, got an aftermarket tack there. You got some aftermarket gauges. Um, what was that? Oil pressure and engine temperature. I can show you the mileage, but I can't stand behind it. It's showing 91,000, 685. She's still cold, but you can hear that cam. We're gonna be getting gas on this test drive too. It's right here, a quarter tank. Let's try the wipers. They work. And the switch feels solid. Blower motor, it's on. No AC. Radio, oh, it was all the way up. Yeah, that doesn't work. Burn signals, popping up right there on the dash. On both sides, how's that tack? Working. Oil pressure. And we're still waiting on that engine tip. Look around the interior, you can see they upgraded the shifter and the floor. I do love that style. Looks like fairly new carpet, door panels, seats. All that looks nice and fresh too. Look how clean this ride is. Package tray could be buttoned up a little bit, just tidied up. It's still not in bad shape. Headliner, got some wrinkles in it, needs to be stretched out. Again, still have the cover. Fairly clean. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let her heat up. And we do have seatbelts in this one, so we're going to get buckled up and take her down the road. Let's see how she drives. We're getting ready to take off down the road and pick out the flaws. Anything I see with this car, steering, throttle, brakes, I'll check it all over. We'll listen to the suspension, and uh, I'll let it be known. First off, we're going to drive on up to the gas station, try to get over a quarter tank in here. Anything I see, you'll know about it. Let's do it. They got it a little tight here in the gate. Let's see if we can get through. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna leave it in drive for now and we'll take off. No power steering on this one. you keep your distance in between the guy in front of you i always say two to three car lengths that way you have time to stop i do that with all classic cars regardless what brake system's on there i just don't want to see it get wrecked but so this one does shift down signal on 
on here. We're gonna pull into the gas station. You get about twenty dollars worth of fuel. Turn signal's automatically cutting off by itself too, so I was wondering if that was still functioning. We made it here, guys. Good deal. So far, so good. Engine temperature sitting right below 190 where it needs to be. Oil pressure's right below 50, so that's strong. Let's get some fuel and uh, check that gauge. There's $20 worth of fuel in this Nova now. We're gonna check that gauge out. You put the gas in right here on the driver's rear. Right there. Easy to get on and off. Okay, so we know it was a quarter tank. As you can see right here. Turn her on. Look at that gas gauge coming up. Should go up a little bit more, I bet. We move the car around a little bit. It's kind of creeping up. All right. Good. We got a bunch of working gauges here. Let's go ahead and take off. ready to rock and roll i don't know about y'all everything's good so far engine temperature is nice and cool yeah oil pressure seems to be it's doing pretty good it's right around 25 30 so we're gonna go ahead and hit the road and get back to the lot so i can go do the walk around and show you all the flaws on the outside and the paint job cosmetics because so far running and driving wise she good to go suspension on this one feels pretty good this never happens. Open road, almost five o'clock. Doesn't happen here. All right, let's roll. Throttle 
response. I mean, as soon as you touch it, that's halfway. It feels good. Everything's nice and tight. There's no slack on anything. And you get it to where it kicks down. It feels smooth. Runs out. You can get up on the highway with this one. Got a whole nother gear there. I'd say you can easily run 70. I need to tighten my mirror up when we get back. It's just a Phillips head or a flathead screwdriver. This one's actually a flathead, I believe. Okay. I notice it's a little funky trying to get it down into that first. There it is. Oh, kicking the tires, look at that. Drifted out a little bit. And a little bit of a spin there on the shift. Okay. And she picked up and started floating to the right a little bit. Nice. I guess I gotta put her back in drive, don't I? All right, we're getting ready to be back to the lot. Before we go there, I want you to check out somebody. This guy is a full customization shop. He does this every day for a living. I send all of my cars down here once I buy them or whatever I do, I send it to him to get it all done. He does suspension lifts, stereos, interiors. I mean, he even paints cars down here. You can't stop him, it's Brian's Motorsports. You definitely want to check them out just type in brianesmotorsports.com online and see all the stuff that he's been doing that's his father in there look at all the cars he's got sitting out here he does everything from forgiato wheels convertible tops he's got some nice stuff going on down here guys the trucks the jeeps the sema shows he built that ride there he's got a rat rod sitting over there he got done with he probably even put all the blue accents on that. I bet he did. He even has it on the on the front windshield. BMS Off-Road. That's Brian's Motorsports, guys. Check him out. He don't pay me to do this. He's more like family. I know our, our Jeep, my wife's Jeep's down here getting worked on. Look at that Impala. All right. We're getting back to the lot now. This is literally next door to the lot, too. So I've had people buy cars from us and say hey i want some custom wheels put on it he's got all the old school american racing stuff he's even got um the newer style wheels that replicate the original wheels that chevrolet or, or dodge or ford came out with in any size you want i know it's kind of cool this whole showroom's full of this stuff it's worth checking out again brian's motorsports follow him on uh Facebook, Instagram, and you can actually follow him here on YouTube. He said he's gonna get into doing the video thing. I think he should with as much projects and custom builds he does. He uh, would probably blow up on YouTube. All right. I'm right here by the lot. But what's cool is you come here, you got all these businesses right next door. You got Shipley's Donuts. You've got the Rooster, it's a meet and three. You've got the Main Street Bar, which got all the local beers from Nashville. You also even, even got a pawn shop. For those guys that like going to the pawn shops, that's one of me. That's I lost one of them in town. They shut it down. I was a little upset. I bought a lot of guitars from that other pawn shop. That's where you find the deals. Okay. All right, I'm pulling back in the lot. Stick around a second. I'll be right back with that picking out the flaws segment of the video. Later, guys. And now we're gonna be walking around this car looking for chips, scratches, and flaws. 
I'll look for dents or rust, whatever I see. That way you know exactly what you're getting. Remember, maplemotors.com has 100 detailed pictures, financing, and shipping. Let's go ahead and get started. So I do like going around the lower portions first. That's usually where the problems persist. So we're going to do that, come back to midsection, hit the top, and we'll call it. All right. Up here in the front, they have put a fairly new bumper on this. It doesn't look beat up or scratched or anything. Nice and clean. The grill's in pretty good shape. It's got a little spot here, but it hasn't been changed out to a new one. It's in good shape. Little ding there in the trim. Let's go down this lower portion. Tires are in good shape. Weld wheels up and over the front fender. Coming on down. 327 correct emblem uh got a little bit of rust popping up here on the edge of the door coming on down see a little touch up mark there you got some cracks at the bottom you also got a little bubble popping up here and at the corner of the door on top and bottom also right behind that exhaust is kicked out right in front of the rear tire above that there's a bubble in the paint as well Coming on up, you got a couple more bubbles. A little stuff popping up here on the fender. On down to the back. Fairly clean back here. Let's run down the side here. Emblem's in good shape. Looking down the side. Looks pretty good, fairly straight. You got some chips in the door. Little spot there, imperfection, real small. Dirt. Back over the top. Front window is in great shape on this one. You got a little spot here. The rubber's kind of drying out around the vent window which is in great shape the trim around the vent window looks good pitting on your chrome here a little bit of moisture on the inside of the window there back window is in good shape the trim around it looks great and the roof Checking out. Coming around the back. As we come up on the back bumper on this one, it does have some pitting. You can see it's a little bit older. It's not new like the front bumper. And we got magnet. This has got rubber reinforcement on the back of it. It won't scratch nothing. Weather stripping looks good in the jam. Somebody has cut some carpet to fit in the trunk here. You can lift up both sides. This has got a little bit of bubbling popping up. It's been painted over underneath this. Oh wow, there's another one. Well, let's pull that one. Wet. We need to pull this out anyways. Go ahead and let the guy back here in the cleanup bay dry this trunk out you can see the surface rust trying to come back through since this is wet a little thin there you can see a little hole overall not too bad panels in good shape over there extra fabric for the interior package tray looking solid Oh, they tape up the wires on there? Looks like it. They did it on this side too. It may have been loose. Edges of the trunk lid are in good shape. Coming on down. 
Got a little spot there. Reverse lights cracked. Springy, very springy. I'm well, seeing how soft I could shut it when it would latch. There's a spot there too. And over the trunk lid, might as well hit it all right now. You got some spots on the edge. A little bubble popping up here. Chip there. All right, so since my shadow's behind me, I'm gonna start from the front and then go to the back. That'll help out with viewing on this car. Coming on. Tire's still in good shape. Wheels look pretty good. Up and over the fender. Oh, on this side, you can really see it's got like a metallic flake in there. I don't know exactly what white this would be, but I like it. Some cracks right there. Bottom of the door here, you got a little crack there in the corner. Little chips at the bottom. And a couple bubbles popping up here. Up and over the fender. Not too bad. Coming on back. Light scuff there. Emblem's in good shape. Gas cap's fairly new. Middle of the door, or the whole body of the car is in good shape. Look at the yellowing going on right there. Back over the top. You got a couple chips right here. You also got like, it's like something scratched. It chipped right here, scratched that, and did all that at once. It's like a tool or something. Some chips. Front windshield, pretty good shape. Nice and clean. Mirror on this one's been replaced. Vent window in good shape, but dry on the seal. Pitting on some of your trim. Trim looks good so far around here. A little bit of pitting on your door handle. And around your back window. You got a crack here. Right, I'm gonna go back to the front, my shadow still. So we're gonna go over the roof again. Paint's a little bit off there on the edge. Looking over the roof. Got some stains that I can wipe right off. Just picked up on the way here. A little wax left in the jam there. All right, made it around this ride. Let's go ahead and check out the interior one more time, get her started up and listen to the motor. We open the door. Beautiful door panel on this one in great shape. Weather stripping is replaced. Bottom of the door, you can see it's been repaired there. Looking in your jams, a little bit of chipping going on. The seat, the carpet's been replaced. The seat is in perfect condition. I don't even see a tear. See what we got. Reach in, turn the key. Starts right up. Beautiful sound.
the uh, insulation up under the hood somebody has replaced. The hood itself is in good shape, solid. Little crack there. Pitting around the front nose on the chrome. Coming down with the hood, just barely pushing, two fingers. You can see some pitting going on the chrome on the front here. As I'm shutting down the hood, shuts easy. Cracks here, spot there. Crack here. Oh, it landed right here. Look, it hit the hood too. So it was shut, whatever, whatever landed there. There's a little dent. Those little scuffs should come out. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Look at the 100 detailed pictures we provide at maplemotors.com. Also, check out the financing and shipping options we provide. Same website, along with all of the inventory that we update every Monday at 11. Also, do a walk around. Personally, I'll walk around the lot with you in my camera, and we'll show all the new cars every Monday afternoon. So, be sure to tune in check that out. Again, hit subscribe, share, hit like. That helps me out more than you know, and it does keep me going. Thank you in advance. I'll see you later, guys. Have a good one.